now let us start how to install minikube in aws ec2 instance i'm selecting ubuntu image with t3 micro type see it has to be like two vcpus and one gb memory at least yes next we'll be adding storage for a of 8 gb next i'll be selecting it is already existed because it will be keep on creating the other things when you launch an instance to avoid that duplicacy doing that it get started okay finally to access the i'm um, using uh, win recipe you can even use putty or something getting authenticated checking ssh okay okay let me update my system getting updated for more videos please subscribe my channel tech metric i stored complete commands here over here i will be posting this all the commands which make you easy to install I'll be giving executable permission for this cube CTL. Yeah, I given that. Now I'll move that particular file to my local bin. Now let me install Docker. Docker is necessary when you are installing cube CTL or any other container service which is, which you are comfortable with. Okay, it's done now. Docker has been installed. Now I'll install Minikube. Yes, done. Let me check the version and commit ID. Yeah, this is my commit ID and this is my version. And let me log in as root user. because vm driver should be equal to none because we don't have any other vm because it is a, because ec2 is a, itself has a virtual machine if you are installing with uh, windows or ubuntu then you can make it as like os box which you will be installing right virtual box in that case you have to use that okay for this error you have to use this particular command yes see it work now it's getting installed take some time Let's 
should be next up to It takes some time. done. I'll just run one of the image in this Kubernetes cluster. Yeah. I've created like one content like Minikube. Hello Minikube as a one pod. Let me show you pod. See it's running. Now let me deploy that particular pod I'm creating a deployment okay got it just miss if I okay deployment is also created now let me show you my deployments this is my deployments now I will expose this particular deployment into port 8080. Yes, exposed. Now let me get you the service where it is running. See, this is the particular IP you have to open in your security group because you can access this like 30764 from this particular port number. You can access what it has been deployed. Let me show you that. security groups like you can come over here security groups okay what is the port number 30764 30764 no it's not that let me add that Zero seven six four done. I'll be giving anywhere because it's an inbound. If anyone try to access this particular port, it will be visible through browser. That's it. Nothing else. Yes, it's done. Now let me select this IP paste it over here and let me check the IP number I forgot very bad at memory 30764 see you can access this for more videos please subscribe my channel tech metric and please click on the like button if you like this video thank you